So today I'm going to walk you through my process of applying paper textures to your maps in Photoshop. There's a lot of different ways you can do it, but I think this method will give you the most control and help you to take your maps to the next level. The nice thing about applying textures is it really ties everything together and makes your maps feel like they have more of a history. So let's get into it. So this is a map that I did for a fantasy novel by Melanie Clark. And as you can see, all the shading is done, the labels are in place. The last thing to do is add a couple paper textures to just tie everything together. So what you could do is find a nice texture, you can copy that, paste it on your map, change the blend mode to multiply and call it good. But as you can see, it doesn't look very good. There's kind of a weird color cast over the whole thing and it's a little dark, so I'm gonna show you a better way to do it. So let's just delete this. Let's go ahead and close this texture as well. And let's open up the black and white version of that same texture. So the first thing that you wanna do is you wanna come down to your layers panel and unlock the texture so we can make some changes to it. And then go up to select, go to load selection. Just make sure it's set to background gray and new selection and just hit okay. So then what you wanna do is on your keyboard select delete. And basically what that did was deleted the background color of the texture. And even though it looks like we deleted the whole thing, it's actually still there. So just go ahead and hit Control or Command D on your keyboard to deselect. And then we can select the layer, hit Control or Command C to copy it, and go back to our map. And then we can hit Control V to paste it in. So first let's scale it down so it fits our map a little bit better. You can do that by hitting Control T on your keyboard. Something like that. And just hit Enter. So you still can't see it that well. So what we can do is go to this little checkerboard icon, which is the alpha lock, and select that. You can go up to your colors and let's pick something crazy like blue and I'll show you what this does. So you can see if you paint color now on this layer, it's only painting it on the texture that we just applied. You can zoom in and see that. So what this allows us to do is have a lot more control over the color of the texture that we're adding. So let's make that invisible for a second and let's pick this dark color here in the mountain. And we can turn that our layer back on. And now let's paint that color on our texture. So you can see that gives us a lot more control over what we can do. And we can also change it to multiply so that everything's bleeding through a little bit more. And let's adjust the opacity. Yeah, something like that. Okay, so now let's add another texture. We can go up to open. And this is the free paper texture pack that I offer on my website. There'll be a link in the description if you want to download that. And for this one, let's pick out something a little bit crazier. So we'll go with number 25 here, the black and white version again. So again, just remember to unlock it by clicking on it on the layer panel. Go up to select, load selection, and just hit OK. Then we can hit delete on our keyboard and control D to deselect. So then we can hit control C to copy it. Go back to our map and hit control V to paste it in. So again, let's scale this down by hitting control T. And the reason I like this texture is there's actually salt in it to give it this interesting pattern. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna only apply it to the ocean area of the map. So let's click on that layer and drag it down to be just above the ocean. And then once again, let's paint the color in so we can click on alpha lock here and let's darken this color a little bit and increase the saturation and then let's paint on that there we go so let's go and set this to multiply and we'll adjust the opacity down a little bit till we get it to a level that we're happy with Somewhere around that. And the last thing you wanna do is actually add an adjustment layer, because you can see that adding these textures tends to flatten out 
the values of the map a little bit too much. So let's go here and select curves. And let's click on this line and drag this midpoint up just a little bit. And we'll create another dot and drag that down a little bit. You can see that adds back in a lot of that nice contrast that we lost when we added that texture in there. And that's pretty much all there is to it. So if you look, we can actually toggle on the original map and what it looks like now. I hope you guys found that helpful. You can see that just by applying a few textures, you can give your maps a lot of character and make them feel more authentic, but just play around with it. Try it and see what you can come up with. If you're interested in downloading those textures, there'll be a link in the description below. And just be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.